Hello everybody and welcome back to Echoes of the Plum Grove. Oh, where while going down the stairs, she lab decided she was hungry. So let's have a little snack. Thank you very much. It fits me to a T, does it? Thank you, Daniel McConnell. You're such a nice son. All right. Everything's still going here. Yes. That room looks so much better with that. Uh, like the, it doesn't really go with the wallpaper very well. I might redo the wallpaper, but the the floor makes me a bit happier when I go in there and look at it. So I need indigo leaves in return for a blackberry pie recipe. No. Not happening. I just sold a load of indigo leaves and now you're like, ha ha, I want indigo leaves. Oh, all the watermelons are ready today as well. So mostly my harvests are all cucumbers. I've got my wheat field down here and a whole load of other stuff. Right, so let's go see the animals first because I'm trying my best to get golden animal products at the moment uh, for the pillar. So we are gunning for the pillars at the moment. These guys are not looking very well fed right now. I will have to go and have a little check on the hay situation. You're doing well. You're a, you're a silver star goose. And a silver star warbler hen. Uh, warbler's about to pass on to, to limbo soon. <laughs> So, still getting bronze eggs at the moment. Um, we do have a little bit of hay in there, but it will be nice when my hay feels. Is I mean, probably in the next couple of days, I might have to redistribute a little bit from the barn. I'm not certain. Okay, so let's go and have a look at these guys. Hello. How are you doing? You are still Silver Star. These guys are doing a lot better than the birds are at the moment. Okay. And now because we have a new carpenter and blacksmith, I can do what I've been meaning to do every day for a while. Oh, I haven't put my bed... I, I slept in my rubbish bed. I've got a nice new fancy bed now. I have to decorate the room to go with it, won't I? Uh, milk. Pale shears. I think I got proper milk from uh, that one. Let's try again with you, shall we? Gold star milk. Silver rainbow milk. So at the moment we've got two gold star milks and they will rot in, uh, star down in three days. So I don't want them to star down because then they won't be gold star milk, obviously. So I've got a couple of days to hand those in. Come back here. Do you have fluff on you? No, okay. Can't share the sheep every day. So yeah, animals are all happy, so that's my first job of the day. It is also a Sunday, I've just realised, and that means it's a day for me to water everything myself. Sad times. I only have to do it once a week though. As long as I've got a farm hand, I only have to water the crops once a week and just make sure that in between they have their watering cans, which sounds easy. <laughs> I'll water everything. I don't know if I'm up for harvesting everything. I might leave that until tomorrow for Daniel to do. Assuming she up has her tomorrow, I don't know. She's living on kind of borrowed time at the moment. <laughs> She's really old now. Super old. So 
So once I finish with the watering, I'm going to go to the blacksmith and just double check that there are no steel tools. We've got thousands in the bank right now. 4,000. So we've got plenty to buy any steel tools that we see at the moment. Um, and then I've got stacks and stacks and stacks of veggies in the fridge that uh, I could sell if I really needed some money for something. So we now actually have enough money for the house upgrade or the barn and the coop upgrade together. So we need to make about another 4,000 total, which really shouldn't be an issue. Uh, the watering can ran out. I was going around doing my watering, happy as Larry, and then all of a sudden I was like picking cucumbers. I was like, what's going on here? Actually, these can just be picked, I think, because I think then they'll be gone, won't they? Yeah. Except I don't have any room in my infantry. That doesn't surprise me at all. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can put a couple of things away. I desperately need to get down there and just like sell, sell, sell. So the gold nuggets. The iron nuggets. Quartz. Don't really need the nails on me. Uh, the remaining wood. We've got a reasonable amount of... Wow, that came all the way over from there. That's amazing. Um, I want to sell the lemons. I want to keep the wheat. Probably sell the watermelons and the peaches. Loads of cucumbers. I'll leave the hops in there for now. All right, then. Let's go and get the rest of the stuff, shall we? So those are all done. Oh, it looks like there's some bits I haven't watered. Hang on, let's get those done first. Watering is the most important thing. Honestly, then I think I'm going to go into town before all of the shop shuts. I want to grab any wood, any stone. I want to sell bits and bobs. And then we'll come and get the cucumber harvest in. down here then it looks like I have something for someone down here oh you're the mayor aren't you so I bet it's taxes I probably should go and do that I hate paying taxes but still I should I get a cute dress if I give you some peaches okay yeah sure you can we can do that. Very cute, but I think I'll probably keep that. See? Very cute. But we'll keep she in her normal dress, and I will keep that for the family, I think. Uh, let's have a look then. Free shrimp in return for french fries. Yes, that would be fine. Will not be too much of an issue for me to get three shrimp. And then... Go in here and see the mayor. Pay the taxes. Or is it a quest you have? Ah. Tomato soup recipe. I didn't even know what that quest was, but uh, okay. Clearly I had the stuff on me. Woohoo! Oh no, there's people crying again and looking green. And I was near them. I didn't catch whatever that was last time though. Ah, no one here. Oh, of course, it's a Sunday, so no one's going to be where they're meant to be. 
Maybe the carpenters will be though, possibly. They might be around somewhere. Oh look, there's someone else with a quest up there. Okay. If I can't find them, I can't find them, but like if they're if it's the normal day, I'll Oh, it's Daniel. Oh, did we just have another funeral? Man, so many funerals. It's probably why everybody's not in their usual places. Is that the new girl? Is that the new Samson girl? So she's a carpenter. But we will trade and buy all the wood. And all the nails. Oh wow, that's expensive. But it's, it's probably worth it to not have to worry about four million trees that I have to shake every day. Even have the money for that. We are making money hand over fist right now. I will take your stone as well. Wicker pet beds. I really do want to get a pet at some point. Like, really do. Okay, I'll save the rest of my stuff for the... Go gather a bit of wood. I need a lot of wood. I've got like 99 at home, but I think I need 160 even just for a chicken coop. I think I need something like 300 for the house. I need hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of wood. So I will buy some so that it's not such a chore for everybody to have to watch me like... Oh, she loves going around all the trees again. But if I go past the tree, I'll try and grab the wood off it. Okay, so. Not seeing our blacksmith today, but we'll grab them tomorrow, I guess. All the watering's been done. All the animals have been dealt with. The smelters do not have anything in them, and also I need to go and catch, if I can, some shrimpy shrimps. I do want to get those repaired, I just haven't seen the blacksmith yet. There's always someone running- oh, that one is def- that's definitely a pirate ship. That's 100% a pirate ship. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, they're definitely sailors, and sometimes like, they are definitely pirates. One shrimp. I'm a lot more confident in the fish and what I can and can't catch now. Is that not the blacksmith girl? Uh, might not be. I think they might be coming back to the boat. Now we're about to leave, I think. Shrimp number two. Shrimp number three. Yay! So who was that quest for? That was for Jacqueline Chesney, who is in the inn. Okay, let's go back. Wasn't entirely expecting that. All right, Jacqueline. Uh, let me get past all these people so I can talk to you. No, I need to talk to Jacqueline. Ja Jacqueline!
Well, that's fine. Oh, she's drinking a cup of tea. That's adorable. You are the most adorable, Nell Chesney. Grown-ups always say greeting when they meet someone, but I think it sounds funny. Okay, see ya. This is infuriating. There we are. French fries and a cask blueprint. I didn't realise I had a blueprint as well. I didn't even look at that. Okay, so we've got learned cask and we've learned uh, French fries. Which I imagine needs cooking oil and cooking oil is a pain to get. But it's fine. I'm just kind of collecting the recipes. And then, and then I'll find ones that are easy enough to make. And those will be the ones that I'll I'll be using. Oh, hang on. I've got loads of stuff that I haven't sold. Uh, who's about then? No one. Let's go back to the pub and just, like, steal all their money. I have way too many cucumbers and peas and everything to be able to dry them in a reasonable amount of time. So I think I might just sell some surplus. Um... If I ever see them with gold star stuff, I'll grab it, but I never do, so... I've got my tomato soup recipe as well. Oh, <laughs> they don't have enough... They don't have enough money for that, Shelab. They don't have enough money to buy your cucumbers. We don't want to sell the gold milk. We want to hand the gold milk in once we have enough of it. But all the gold star pickles and things. Those might need to be cut in half though. Can I just do half of them? Yes, we just click like 20 times. I just keep clicking until... The... Yeah, that's about right. Then let's see about Jacqueline Chesney's inventory, or Kat Hop... or Kay Hopkins even... inventory. Oh, she's got like no money either. Okay. See you later! <laughs> it's reduced the number of, uh, of things I've got though. It's, it's very much reduced it. And the number of cucumbers I have. So now I'm still super rich. Yay! Still super rich. Do you have an inventory, Dolly Woodward? No, you're going back. Okay. So of course they brought some kind of disease with them. They're spreading throughout the town. And everyone's green now. Ah, Diane. Dion, I think it is. You'll have, you'll have loads of money. They'll have loads of money. Not selling bricks. Bricks are useful. Or dragon's fruit seeds. I do need to plant them in though. Um, dried veggies. Have those. You can have the watermelon. You can have... I think that's about it because I'm going to need to keep a bit of... Oh no, you can have that because... I've got some dried fruits. I like to keep two pieces of food. Everything else gets sold. Yeah, that'll do. The mayor is always super rich. So if you're struggling to sell to someone, go to the mayor. The mayor's always like got loads of money. See the house they live in? Of course they've got loads of money. Alright then, let's uh, just wander on back to the house. I'll grab wood on the way, I think, as well. So at the moment, I'm not really sort of... I'm a bit worried. <clears throat> I'm a bit worried that I'm going to have a problem with the fishing rods or the inventory going missing if Sheila passes away. So I'm really not 
wanting to get the fishing rods out at the moment too much and the the iron ones that i don't mind losing so much they are needing a fix and i couldn't find the blacksmith so that's why we're not doing a ton of fishing so let's turn the day over to monday i guess maybe i'll do a cucumber harvest as well let's get these cucumbers in shall we Um, I believe I'm getting so many because of the bountiful harvest thing that was given to me by the witches. Uh, I think that still might be working for Shelab. And it's making her a lot of money because she's getting all these cucumbers and the, these big stacks of cucumbers are selling for like loads. Cucumbers and peas are brilliant. Plant them once and they just keep on going. Same with hops as well and you get quite a lot of hop seeds back so eventually i'll be able to brew some beer the cask i just picked up might be how i do it but it'll probably be a while before i manage to build it at the moment wood is um very much a limiting factor metal stone particularly actually as well so i'm trying to buy it i'm trying to sort of grab it wherever i can without it being a complete uh boring tree harvesting fest although i might end up having to do a few of those <laughs> gotta be honest okay was there anything in here oh there's loads of hops in here still so i probably should sell the hops if i can okay right time for bed i think Oh, of course we got. Oh, Alfredo came home as well. It's nice to have a home that's got a few more people in it. Nice to be surrounded by the young people. Pick all those cucumbers. This definitely looks more like a sort of kitchen-y kind of... It looks like a, more of an industrial room, doesn't it? So that's definitely where I'm going to go with the wallpaper. I want it to be a little bit more plain and everything. Uh, did I somehow manage to put a cucumber on that one? I must have done. So at the moment we've got eight of these. I do want to try and keep increasing them so I can increase the amount I'm able to put on there. I'll do a silver one then. I do have a stack of cucumbers downstairs in the basement, so we are keeping some on ice at the moment. We're getting to the point where we've got more than 99 of each. So I think when I have more than 99 of each, I'll start selling. So I'll keep 99 of everything and sort of use them for drying and everything like that and then we'll we'll go from there and i'll also keep my gold hops yeah because i've got the most of those actually um and i did have some wheat there to keep as well i'm keeping wheat because i'm needing flour so i probably should replant wheat if i've got some but i i will be able to plant wheat in the fall though so that's fine All right show she lab. Time to go sleep. Fishing skill up. Higher chance of silver or goldfish. Recipes learned. Sushi party. How this girl is still alive, I do not know. Um... We've got a lot of nice gold star stuff off those drying racks, didn't we? Wow. We've also got a recipe that I haven't learned, which is a tomato soup one. So recipe-wise, how are we doing now? My cookbook is looking pretty full now, isn't it? There's still a lot to learn, but we've learned a lot. Probably still at kind of the halfway through stage at the moment with the recipes. Um, 
milk, flour, maple syrup, bread, cheese, egg. Bread, cheese, egg wouldn't be too bad because that'd be two eggs, one flour, and one milk to make the cheese. So maybe making a cheese press today might be a good idea. Maybe we could start processing the milk a bit. Oh, it's the first of autumn now. Wonderful. No mail today either. Wow. Alright, so a oh, good job I did bring those cucumbers in yesterday, huh? So the hay remains throughout the seasons, which is quite nice. I need to go and get a scythe then and get rid of all of these. And we need to plant some autumn crops. I didn't think Sheila would make it to autumn. I really actually... <laughs> I really didn't. But she, she's... Defying expectations still. So she turned into an adult, what, uh, sorry, an elder, in the middle of winter, I think it was. And we're just getting to a point now where um, the kids are starting to get older. Look how many new people there are in town that I just don't know. What happened there? Clearly, I think it's, like, started to repopulate a lot after the... There's all these new families that have moved in after the, uh... Lives at the fish shack, lives at the dairy farm. After the, uh, smallpox outbreak, it seems to have, like, really, like, revitalised the town and got a lot of new people in and stuff like that. Okay, so Daniel McConnell, who is our son is only a bit of the way through being an adult okay penelope mcconnell is quite far through being an adult it does have a husband oh right counts as the husband though hasn't been able to get married yet but has a husband I see, so when it's a gender neutral character, like Alfredo, it's a spouse. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it's a it's husband, a wife, or a spouse. So that's another way to tell if they're gender neutral. Pretty cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna help out with the sort of getting rid of the old stuff. Yeah. I'm glad the watermelons got done yesterday because they would have died otherwise. They were just in time. I'll have a think about what I want to plant then. Um what do we plant in autumn? Pumpkins and stuff. I'll have a look in the box. I definitely want a good few things of wheat though. I've got three spaces for the wheat and we're just going to keep going with that because I'm going to want flour for so many of the things that I need to cook. Alright then. So. have corn seeds but they are for the summer so we're just going to put those away. We can use those next time. Watermelon seeds. I'm trying to see if any of the seeds look the same and need to be stacked or anything. All right, so spring. Potato seeds can be done in the fall. So we can do potatoes. And carrots. We don't have enough of them though. Garlic is a big one. Onion. We do garlic and onion, definitely. Oh, 
more cucumber seeds. I don't know how we managed to get them to stack to 265. I don't think that's uh, probably what's meant to happen there. Yeah, I think they're meant to stack to 99. But oh well, I'm not going to complain. Um, got some hay seeds. At the moment, I'm growing some hay, so that's fine. I will take the wheat seeds as well. So let's plant wheat. Let's not worry about potatoes and carrots at the moment. Let's do wheat, onion, and garlic. For now, and then I'll maybe plant something new in tomorrow as well. So, uh, need to plant the dragon fruit as well. So many of those, though. Okay, let's have a... No, let's plant the things in that Daniel can water, actually. Those shrubs at the back there have gone uh, dark as well, so I need to make sure they're watered. So yeah, I've got quite a lot of stuff to do on the farm today, so I think my main thing today will be just get stuff planted. So Daniel can help me with the planting and watering. Um... Have a look at my animals. Maybe go over to Limbo and pop the animal, the Gold Star animal products in. Because I'm trying to just do that when I when I can and if I can. Onion seeds. So at the moment, just planting in what I have, and then we'll have a look around uh, in town and see if we got can get some different seeds or something. Uh, hops are only summer. Um, 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 what was the other thing? We, I'm sure we had something else. Garlic. Got a lot of garlic seeds. So let's just put those in. Even if we just do 15 of them or something. Daniel's just following me around with the watering can. Lovely. So that's what we'll plant for today. And then maybe we'll do a little bit more tomorrow. Okay, so let's move on to the animals. Oh, actually, no. These raspberry things at the back here, I want to just make sure they're watered because they weren't watered yesterday, clearly. I think I may have lost one as well. One managed to make it, though. <laughs> Probably the one that gets auto-watered first. At the end of the day, it's a raspberry bush that I don't need, so like I'm not going to worry too much about it if it does die. All right, let's have a look at you guys. See how you're doing. Give you a pat on the head. Doing well, Silver Star. Also, Silver Star. Silver Star. Yeah, so most of them are Silver Star. Fantastic. Sometimes I can be bothered to name them, sometimes I can't. They've run out of hay today, so I will need to come in and just grab them a bit of hay from the barn, I think. The barn probably should have hay still in it. Hey, my animals, how you doing? Right. But yeah, the hay is getting a bit low now just across the board. So it's something I'm going to need to start to really look into. So if I do pass the Bailey dairy farm, I should grab any I see. Yeah, it seems to be wall every second day from those guys. 
I did not get any good eggs though. They were all bronze. And I need to get my pail from wherever it's gone. Another gold star from you. Perfect. Silver from you. Gold from you. Lovely. I think I might go to Limbo today and just hand those in. Let's pet everybody. Oh wow, Ixius is now gold star rainbow goat. Yeah, they've all gotten up to gold star now. Perfect. So I should start now get hopefully getting more gold star milks from them. That's brilliant. Doesn't take a lot of effort either, so it's kind of embarrassing actually how little effort that took once I realised I needed to pet them. So, let's get some iron on in the furnace. But it's 17 of the 35 bricks I need. So we need another 18. So about halfway there on that. Got all the paint we need. Getting there on stone as well. That's looking a lot better. We've got a decent stack of wood there. Probably sell all my excess cucumbers. I'll probably sell the hops. Like I got the cask a little bit too late, and like I say, I'm, it's going to take me time to make it as well. Now, question is, do I put these dragon fruit trees like in front here? Where do I put them? I feel like there's no room for them anywhere. I could start another orchard to the side of the barn. The barn animals seem all right where they are. Right, okay, let's go grab a hoe and we'll start a little orchard area over here, I think. I would love if you could move things a bit more easily in this game, but I do understand it's meant to be a harder game, so it's not really like... Yeah, just move things wherever you want. Yay! It's not like that. So, hoe out. Let's find a place to put these dragon. The problem is, I'm finding that uh, I don't want to put things too out of sight. It's going to be really easy not to do these, but what I'm hoping is that because I've got animals here, I will check on these trees. I'm going to put them over a little bit, just because I may want to expand the farm eventually. Summer seeds. Oh, can I not plant them until summer? Oh, maybe they're not trees then. They don't seem to have the same thing as a tree. So I think they they might just be plants then. Okay, well I'll pop them in the chest until next year. I mean, I don't need to worry about them at least. <laughs> I don't need to worry about them dying if they're still seeds, right? Okay. So I've got my yarn now from my sheep fur, which is wonderful. I think I might need to process some more cotton and I also wanted to process a little bit of iron ore. Oh, I really wanted to go to the blacksmiths today and everything has just been so crazy because it's been the first day of, of uh, autumn. First day of fall, autumn. And like, so I've had a million things to do and now probably they won't be around. Well, let's go into the village and see if they're around. 
They might be on the way home or something. So the only thing that I think I haven't done... No, she's not there. She might be inside, though. Uh, the only thing that I haven't done yet... Aha, she is. Nice. For the autumn festivals. What's that? Murex snail. I don't think I'm interested in that though. No steel tools today. A little bit of glass. Uh, but I may just try and get sand and make my own glass uh, if I need it for anything particular. At the moment, I'm really just saving up, saving up, saving up. Oh, my book shut itself. So if we're looking at the coop, 30 nail, 160 wood, 40 straw, 3 copper and 4 iron. I might be close to having all of that, to be honest. Might need more iron nails and stuff. I've been going in the mine that much. Uh, let's get my fishing rod repaired. And then I will sell you all of my cucumbers and hops and stuff like that. It's the cucumbers that does it, isn't it? Hell yeah. Okay, that's all then. That's perfect. And then I want to go to Limbo and hand those gold star things in, I think. I'm trying to get Limbo as complete as possible for my for my children. So there's less for them to do. But I feel like once we've passed things down to the kids, that'll be one thing that I'm curious about done. And then when we get the pillars done, I think that, like I say, that will be the, the end of the game, unless it gives me something else to do at that point. I'm not going to be like full completionist on this. I'm just going to be pillar completionist. If that makes any sense. <laughs> This is the longest staircase in the whole wide world. I mean, I suppose it, you have to feel like it's long, otherwise it doesn't have the same effect really, does it? So I think I've got three or four new animal products to put in now, which is great. It would be really good if the chickens gave anything other than bronze eggs. I'm not so sure if they ever do. The barn definitely seems more useful, but the eggs are going to probably come in useful when it comes to cooking. So it's this pillar here. Six. Nine out of thirty. So we're a third of the way through, which isn't too bad, actually. So this pillar will be done when we have 21 more gold animal products. This pillar will be done once we get the lobsters. Which I'll be working on soon because it's autumn now and we can get them. 10 crafted placeables for that one. That shouldn't be too hard to do, but it's going to take a lot of wooden things. It takes a lot away from the other things I'm doing, which is why I don't do that one at the moment. Recipes and one friend. So it's got tons and tons and tons to do. Like 50 gold star recipes is going to be hard. I'm going to have to do a lot of cooking. And if things are competing with the money I need, then that's where I'm not going to worry about it too much, but... Placeable shouldn't be too hard. Well, maybe they will be. I don't know. It depends on what counts as a placeable as well. So 
to... Oh, do you know what I should be doing right now? I should be doing this. Oh! Wick! It's a blood moon! Oh, typical. Get that last note and get to the docks right now. Where is it? Where's the lost note? It's in my box somewhere. I know it's somewhere, I know it's somewhere, I know it's somewhere. There we are, lost note. Right, so let's go down to the docks. And then we need to go and fish in the cave as well. I hope she doesn't get too tired too quickly. Oh, this fishing rod is nearly dead. So apparently, there's... Oh yes, there's a ghosty boat here. <gasps> Hi, who are you? Admiral Wade, Good greetings, love, life lover. Cryptic clues. Um, okay, some of my passengers are real sketchy about how they've died. Some other ghosts know the details and may give you a note with a clue on it if you've helped them out. If you've collected two clues, bring them to me for a reward. Alright, let's see if any of the ghosties around have got like a quest. That one does. That one's got a mirror quest, I think. Okay. Pocket watch near the animal farm. Okay. All right, so you're by the well. Let's go to the animal farm and see if we can get the second clue. Oh, come on, come on. I'm not going to fast travel because that scuppered me before, but I don't know whether I'll be able to do this in time. Right, animal farm, there should be a watch here, yes. It's very easy to see them because everything's red and they show up blue. Fingers crossed in the time I've gone to get that, he'll still be playing around by the well. I wasn't expecting to need two lost notes, but... Oh well. You still be there. Yay! Still there. Okay, turning quest. Took you long enough. Uh huh. Okay. So we've got two notes now. Except Not many have finished one of my tasks. Here's a reward. One gold bar. Until next time. You suck. I thought I'd get a really good reward for that and I got one gold bar. Okay, never mind. Probably time to go to bed now then. I'm glad I finished it off, though. I'm glad that, I, uh, that that was a thing I managed to do. We're a bit tired now, though. Okay, item repaired. Fishing rod, lovely. Want some fish. Barbels. No. Nah. If it was a gold star meal, I would donate it to the pillar and I would be happy to do the quest for it. But it is not, so I am not. Sleep until rested. I 
I'm beginning to think Shelab is immortal. Okay, so have I got a hammer on me at all? No, I don't. So let's go and fetch a hammer and put my new cool bed in. I want to decorate this place a bit. And that bed's really nice. I will have put it in the helper chest, I expect. Uh, hammer. We've got apples today. They would have been my final uh, crop, but I ended up getting some different crop, so. That is so much nicer. How do I rotate it? With R. I could put it in the middle there. Oh, it doesn't quite go in the middle though, so no, let's uh, keep it. Keep it where it was. That's a well swanky nice bed. Okay, so Shilab, you need some food. Then we're gonna check in with the blacksmith. We'll check in with the animals first, actually. No, we won't. We'll check in with the blacksmith first and then come back and do the animals, I think, because... <laughs> What's Daniel been up to? Not watering the crops, clearly. What earth is Daniel? No idea where Daniel's gone. Supposed to show up on the map as well. Where's Alfredo? Down there. Daniel's just completely disappeared and hasn't done any watering. So I guess that's going to be my job today then. Alright, let's go and quickly see the um, blacksmith and I need to come back and do a whole load of farm chores, okay? Daniel jumped on the ship and ran away. Blacksmith is important because one day there will be a steel pick there. And I will buy it and then we will get further in the mines. But at the moment, any any steel. I would also like to get my pickaxe repaired. That is a steel scythe. So sometimes steel stuff is coming up, but just not the things I'm wanting. There's no steel bars either so that's sh that's a shame but that's fine uh i will buy any stone you have or any wood you have and also any nails you have i will sell you cucumbers in return i didn't give the chickens that hay rats i need to do that today that needs to happen today Doubles the price almost, making that into yarn. Oh, you don't have enough money. Um... Eventually we'll get steel tools, but I'm just glad that we've got Janine now because <laughs> I needed a, I needed a, a blacksmith in town. 
I'm glad to know that you don't have to worry so much. Like, the game will make sure that you've got all of the main professions. So we've got Halloween coming on the 13th and the Harvest Festival on the 20th. Not too worried about all of that. Right, let's get back to the farm. Uh, no, actually, we'll go to the carpenters first and see if I can grab any wood or stone from them. I'll head home. Big back crunch there. It was a good one though. No one stood like outside or anything, so I might have been a bit too late to go and see them. That's fine. We'll try and go and see people more in the morning. I will grab wood off the trees though. Do that a hundred times and you've got enough for the whole thing, you know? Okay, so let's make uh, those guys into that. And I'll just see if Daniel did anything with the crops yet, but I don't think so. I think he's just decided not to help. Definitely still a farm hand, right? Was it maybe because there was there's been so many funerals going on lately or something? Or Luz Hull's funeral might have stopped him working. Maybe there's a lot of weddings and funerals going on. Um, there's Penelope and Angel O'Dell and Ben Lloyd, and also Daniel and Alfredo's wedding isn't until the fourth. <laughs> it's like it's crazy. Like, they're not getting their weddings because everything is so backed up with funerals. I wonder if that's why she left still alive. She can't have a funeral till the 8th. <laughs> Imagine if that was why. There's no funeral spots for her, so she has to stay alive. <laughs> I would cry laughing. Oh my goodness. It might be true as well. That might be why she's still alive for so long. She's got to get the game has got to get everything cleared. Yeah, where have you been, Daniel? Not doing your job. I've got to do your job now. If I suddenly die on like if if she lab dies right on um. On like the 8th or something. I'll know that that's why. That all the funerals got clogged up and she didn't have time to die basically. Because there was no there was no funeral spot for her. She had to just stay alive. <laughs> oh, funny. That smallpox epidemic messed around with everything, didn't it? So I'll take over the next generation just in time for winter. That's going to be aces. Although, considering there's a, p a fishing pillar to do, that might be a good time to do that, winter. And if I've stored up enough, like, ingredients and stuff, it would be a good time to do cooking as well. And animal products will still be fine then, I imagine, as well, so... Well, it might be harder to feed my beasts at that point. I do need to make sure that I'm planting a lot of hay. I don't know how much hay we get from each piece of hay that we're growing here. I don't really know how it works particularly. But hopefully we shall find out. So I still haven't checked in on the animals today, so that's the next thing I need to do. Oh, and the bushes at the back as well. And I have apples now as well, which is cool. The thing is, I keep for myself the rubbishest watering cans, <laughs> so I should probably buy get rid of these ones completely and buy one more nice iron one or something. Oh yeah, that's fine. 
by. Let's go say hello. They'll all be sleeping, but let's go say hello to all the animals. And I'll make sure that I uh, pop the... Oh, it's going to be harder to fill the trough now as well, but... Let's see if I can push these guys out of the way so I can get to the trough and give them some food. Say hello to them all. Ah, you're a gold star now. Wonderful. I think what's going to happen is as soon as the chicken dies, we're probably going to get a baby goose. But they are all now gold star. So we're doing great with them. I just needed to give them a little bit of food. So we're getting a bit hungry. Let's go and see what we can do with the animals in the barn. Looking fantastic right now. You're looking great. Let's see. I never have just have the milking pail ready. Where? Where's the milking pail gone? There. Okay. That's gold star milk. Lovely. Gold star milk. Yay, three in a row. Perfect. This is going to go far more quickly now, I imagine. So if I could get three milk a day, then it will take me three days to get another nine, and then another three days to get another nine. So that would be another 18 on top of the nine I already have. And then one more day of three. I'd have it done in about five days. So let's grab these and pop in maybe some peas or something to be dried and everything. So we're still make we're still wanting the money to upgrade the barn and everything like that, so. But the one last big mystery in this game is well, there's two big mysteries. What happens when you fix limbo, which we're getting closer to, and what happens when your character passes away. So those are the two mysteries that I want to solve before I finish up with this. Uh, we do have next week, in, in fact in two days time, there will be a DLC for Sandrock. So Sandrock is coming back. And as soon as Coral Island gets out of... I'll take 12 of those. Uh, as soon as Coral Island, excuse me, gets out of uh, Beta, it's 1.1 patch and we will be doing that as well so we've got lots and lots of th good things coming up after we finish echoes but it is getting towards more towards the end now I just have this this idea that she's going to die on the 8th. I don't know why. I feel like the game is going to clear the funerals out and then let her pass away. But we'll see. Yep, still alive. Third day of autumn. Okay, so today, it's a new day, uh, we shall be checking in with the blacksmith again, checking in with all the carpenters again, just seeing what's out and about. Item is repaired, thank you. We can go to the mines today then, which is quite nice. Quite like going to the mines. I am hoping that today 
the stuff will get watered. So no, there's a lot of funerals and things for people to go to, and if Daniel is going to all of them, he might not be helping out right now. That might be a little bit annoying. So actually, I'm going to go to the barn first. Um, why have I only got... Oh yeah, I've got rainbow milk as well, but I thought I had... Three gold star milks. So I must have been confused about that. It's fine though. Alright, let's pet you all. Morning. 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 Right then, so let's get some milk off these guys. Of course I only got two gold star milk off them. There's only two cows. got gold star rainbow milk as well so we've got two gold star rain okay that's six more i think that probably deserves a little trip to limbo i'll check on the eggs as well and see how they're doing playing chicken a bit with the crops i'll be back to do them though Okay, so the chicken's gone today. It's only geese. I imagine that I will probably come back soon to a baby goose. Because I think that one is pregnant, so... Two of them are going to have babies, so they'll be competing pretty much. But still just bronze eggs. Don't th I don't know if the eggs ever do start to have a higher star level. Okay, so I want to go and see the blacksmith, and I want to go to Limbo, and I want to also see the carpenters. And I also want to put some clay into the furnaces. Got a, only a few things I want to do, you know. Let's have a look at the calendar at the moment. The calendar, we've got one, two, three, four, five more funerals. And then she labs a loud one. <laughs> oh man, she's been alive for so long. It's kind of crazy. All right, so let's go to the carpenters first. Seven, no, we'll be there too early. Um, 8.05. Yeah, let's go over there then first. Quest-wise, I've just got to pay my taxes. So where's Diane right now? Or Dion. Is it Dion or Diane? Dion, sorry. Pay my taxes. That way if there's any illness or anything, I don't have to go near her. <laughs> um, at the moment, everyone's pretty healthy, so that's quite nice. I don't know where the blacksmith is right now, if I'm allowed in or not. What's going on? She's just in here, so let's have a little trade. Let's see what's going on today. Um, it's all just rubbish stone stuff today. That's fine. I'll keep grabbing nails. And selling all of my bits and pieces. I'll stick those through the... Uh, through the spinning wheel. Sell the eggs. But I'm keeping the rainbow milk. Uh, it's nearly 200 for the milk every day there. So four days worth of milk will basically pay back that entire animal. I wish I had enough for the midnight goat. Which 
Actually, why am I going this way? Well, let's grab some wood while we're here anyway. Oh, that's a point. I didn't actually check and see if there was wood or stone. I probably had all your wood and stone there already, haven't I? No, I haven't. There's stone there. Let's buy it. Because I'm at a point now where I've got lots of money, so why not... Let's go see the carpenters and then we'll head to Limbo and I'll stick all six of those into the animal products pillar. Uh, so then we'll be going from 9 to 15. We'll be halfway through at that point. That's going to start going a lot faster now. So over the next few days, that's something I'm going to really um, focus down on, I think. I've got straight past where I wanted to go. Because I'm a silly bean. So many people that I just don't know. No, I haven't gone past where I wanted to go. I wanted to go this way. But she allowed me some food. Did I sell all the food? I do this all the time sell all the food and then she loves like I'm so starving that's why blackberry bushes are invented I guess nom, 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 nom. yeah bit of a roadside snack there roadside snack so I just want to go to the carpenters and buy anything they have but they don't seem to be outside again today the old carpenters always used to be outside but they might be inside you don't know there they are Megan Samson fancy seeing you there not that there's much too much fancy about this place okay so I want some new wallpaper for the room where I'm doing all of the drying. And I want it to be a bit more... I've got like marble panels on the floor. So I just want it to be a bit more interesting. Green panel. And like something that would fit in a bit better. Might be nice. Purple dot. Let's try it. Is it equally starry night or black dot? But I think that purple dot might look quite nice with the white tiles. So let's try that. Um, and I would like to buy any wood you have. Oh, you want a massive double bed. Any stone you have I will buy. I don't know why you got two different types of stone there, but I will buy all of that from you. Boom. So slowly but surely we are building up the, the stone and wood and everything like that. And it's, it's far less tedious to buy it from them than it is to collect it all myself. Like, I do collect it off the trees when I'm passing them. It is a thing, but I'd much rather just be zipping around by fast travel, finishing off the pillars, doing the things I need to do. I do feel like I'd like to go out at night and catch lobsters, but I'm really worried that I'm going to lose the fishing rod. Well, actually, no, I've bought a new fishing rod that's been repaired, haven't I? So I can do that with the iron fishing rod. Yeah, okay. I think we'll do that then. I think we'll go out tonight. We'll see if we can catch lobsters. I should make a crustacean lure then, shouldn't I, for that? But yeah, I'm getting great money for all this milk. Well, I would be if I wasn't uh, donating it all to the pillar, but, you know, it, it's worth really good money. <laughs> So I think the farming pillar will be the next to be done. Followed by the fishing pillar. Uh, I'll 
I'll need to make a new friend for the social pillar, but that's okay. I feel like I could have done that by now. I just, I just was like, oh, what's the point if she loves not going to be alive that long and stuff? And she's just lived forever. Right, so we're up to 15 of 30 there. Need to get another 15 off them. It would be easier with a bigger barn, but it's fine. That oh, Luna McBell. Wow. You're an, you're an OG, aren't you? Luna McBell. All right, let's head back to home then, I guess. I need to start taking, and, and we'll get some food, but I need to start taking stock now of what actual stuff I have. Oh, let's go put the wallpaper in. Let's do something fun for once. Maybe I'll finish off the pathing here as well. Oh good, there's some food for me. Num 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 num. Right, so I think this wallpaper might go with the flooring a little nicer. Oh, that's a nice room. I like that a lot actually, that's cool. A bit contemporary for the time, but it's a game, so I don't care. <laughs> so we're going to get like 12 peas again or something. Oh, yeah, we did great with that. Uh, I'll eat the silver ones and then the gold ones will get sold. between all the dried stuff and everything it, it's uh, become really easy just to buy all the wood all right so I want to get 12 of those so we can dry them I really did want to fill this whole place with drying racks and I haven't managed it at all yet I mean there's still time It'll probably be the next row of drying racks I'll put like here and then then I'll start filling them in with there and there rather no point boxing in the space until I have to in fact I could put one at the back there couldn't I because I don't need to walk between those I don't need, technically need there to be an aisle there. I do for the ones I need to walk between. Let's put in, the wool doesn't rot but the cotton does so I feel like I should make the cotton into thread before I make the wool into yarn. Or could just collect up the wool. There, very nice, we're doing a good job. Okay, so I've seen the animals today. I'm just going to go and check on the watering progress of everything. Make sure all the trees and bushes have been watered. Yeah, it looks like Daniel was on point today. I don't know what he was doing yesterday. Whether it was his day off or what exactly was happening. Not certain at all. But we did good there. Okay, let's... Uh... Oh yeah, we're going to go and look for lobsters, aren't we? So how about we head over to the lighthouse and see if we can catch them down there. If we can catch a few lobsters then I'll be happy and I'll go to bed. <laughs> oh, I didn't put a crustacean lure on. Well, let's see, let's see how we do anyway. Uh Oh, there we are. Fishing rod is out. Oh! That was a little bit specific about where I stood there. So we got a cod. Cod sell for a good amount, so even without drying, so that's nice. Cod. Maybe I did need the crustacean lure. Oh, 
card. Card. Uh, uh, regretting. <laughs> forgetting that. Shrimpy shrimp. I'm supposed to be able to get lobsters now, so I'm really hoping one will come out at some point if I fish enough. It's not really happening, is it? Come on, it says that there's meant to be lobsters here in fall, okay? In the night. So why do you keep giving me shoe leather? <laughs> like, haha, you do not have the crustacean lure. Or the rainbow fishing rod. So you suck. Getting some gold star fish though, so maybe we could hand those in tomorrow. If nothing else. We've got the whole of fall and winter to catch these lobsters, so it's not the end of the world if we don't catch them today. But I would love to catch one, just as a proof of concept that they exist. Still got two other locations to try as well, which is the ocean and the mermaid lagoon. Catching anglerfish as well, lovely. Oh, we got one! How long until they star down? Two days, okay. I got my first lobster. Two lobster. Keep going for a while then. Never know, I might get all the lobsters. My inventory full. Yep. I do not need seaweed and shoe leather. There's so many types of fish that you end up with on so many different star levels. It fills up so quick. All right, Shelab is tired. Shelab is going home then. Two lobsters caught today, though. So that shouldn't take too long. And we got some gold star fish as well. We got one gold star angler fish and one gold star cod to add to the collection. As well as two lobsters. So, yay. Yay, yay, yay. Then. So I'm just going to head to bed because I'm exhausted, but I'm very happy with these lobsters. And I think it might be the time for the end of the episode as well. So I'm just going to sleep until rested. And Shelab is still alive. Like I say, I do have a strong suspicion that these weddings and... Oh, it's Daniel and Alfredo's wedding today. And then we've got Julian Swain and Penelope McConnell. And then we've got Angel O'Dell and Ben Lloyd. 
and then Edward Bailey's funeral. And then on the 10th, we're finally allowed to have a funeral for Shelab if she dies. <laughs> Maybe because she's a witch now, she'll live forever. So we'll be okay. But anyway, I think that is going to be the end of the episode. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.